Hey guys, so um, here we are, visual journal, some skill building. I'm gonna give the drama students a little bit of break from um, stuff so they get to do some art stuff. There is something that you got called watercolors. Okay, you see mine aren't as nice as yours. Let me just kind of zoom the arm out so you can kind of see. And I'm gonna kind of show you how to use them right now. And you're gonna do a little demo and you will put it in your um, journal, okay? So maybe you wanna use these for your heart map, who knows? So I'm gonna get myself some bra a brush. I'm looking for the kind of brush. I think maybe you had a, this brush um, was given to you. I don't think, I can't remember what the brush looks like that comes in here. I'm gonna get a smaller brush, okay? And um, so you need a brush, you need your journal. Um, you also need a cup. And right now I'm gonna have a cup of water. I'm gonna get all these markers out of this cup. The cup is off. And you need, we're going over materials that you need to have. Right, and then you need some water, okay? Do not do this by your computer like I am. Okay, I'm actually really nervous right now. So um, you may want to move your computer away, okay? Or be looking at your phone and have your phone far away when you're doing this demo. Okay, so why watercolor? Watercolor is so fun and it makes visual journals really cool. And um, you're gonna use it um, throughout the year to just really like, you know, lift up your fire rights and you can do it, use it to kind of like decorate your fire, right? I'm going to show you three strategies. And if, um, maybe Michelle's the only one who's done this before. I think I did this with some of the advanced drama kids. But you could take a pen and you can label it wash. Let's see, can you see that? I'm having a hard time seeing on my phone. Yeah, wash. Okay. Graded wash and uh, wet on wet. Wet on wet. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead. This will be posted to Seesaw, and this is all you have to do is you're just practicing these different watercolor strategies. Oh, you know what you should have, which I don't have. Oh, I do. I have an old paper towel up here, but hopefully you have a clean paper towel. That's from Lysol. Don't worry, it's not something else. Um, but you should have a paper towel next to you. I know those professional YouTubers, they have like everything ready. But there's a point to me blabbing. I want you guys to like think about like the process ah! and what you're supposed to have. Okay, wow, it's 12.22, what am I doing up? Doing work, you guys should really be doing this during your academic prep. Okay, so for a wash, and you really should have some bigger brushes, don't worry about getting stuff, but for a wash, you basically pick your favorite color. Oh my God, I love me some turquoise. And this is actually like really goopy and messy. Maybe you wanna keep your watercolors nicer. And what you're doing, what I'm doing is I'm basically getting, I'm gonna talk about everything. I'm getting water on my brush and I'm going ahead and I am mixing it in. So watercolor the thing that activates the paint is water so i'm just pouring water in and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do an even wash kind of across the page where the value is even by value i mean it's light and dark it's like the even amount of water i'm using a lot of water okay Listen to that saxophone. So this gives you kind of like a nice dry color. Do I sound like Bob Ross yet? And you could actually, on top of this, you could actually write with a pen if you let it dry. It looks really nice. There's kind of like a background color, but that's a wash and it's kind of like even. Um, and then a graded wash. What does graded mean? Well, graded means like, a change, right? So there's a slow change. 
And that's kind of like the key in drama and art is like your slow change from things going high to low or going dark to light. And yes, art students do this, be zen, because I'm stressing you out with the me, me, ma, mo, moose. I'm gonna try this color. So for a graded wash, there are different th ways you can do a graded wash. One, you could do just one color where you have a ton of paint on your brush. Look, ton of paint, so much paint. Oh my gosh. And you just really have, it's so dark because it's mostly paint and hardly any water. And I really wish that you guys had more brushes. So I'm thinking, I'm just thinking out loud to myself how I need to get you more brushes. Can someone like rate on Seesaw or remind me to make that note? And as, so it's really heavy. The radio wash starts real heavy. You notice this is all dark value. I should have changed it, but I was talking to myself. I got distracted. And then as you go on, you're gonna have less paint, less paint and more water. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a slow change from dark to light. And then it should get to be like nothing. Okay, so I don't know, I think I did okay. There's a lot of water on the page. That's why I got my paper towel nearby. And I could kind of pull stuff up. Pull it up a little to kind of like make it a little lighter. Because what I'm doing is a slow change with the graded wash. Drama, you're like, why are we doing this? You're doing it to make your book look pretty and to have something to do. You post these pretty colors. Give yourself some points. Okay. So that's a graded wash because I'm going kind of like crazy dark to super light. Oh, I'm having fun. I should be in bed. This is the curse of being an artist. At least I'm doing something productive. And I'm not on Instagram or Hulu or whatever. TikTok. Okay, here we go. So here we go. Another way to do a graded wash, I'm sorry, I have to put something else in, is you can try to like go from color to color. So let's say I wanna start with like this green, right? And I wanna blend it in. I think this green looks a lot like this light green. I mean, it's put into rainbow order, for example. With a lot of water, I can kind of blend these colors together. Can I get an ooh? And again, uh, oh my gosh, am I gonna get a copyright infringement on this video because this is playing in the background? Oh, this happens to me all the time. Here, I'm gonna stop the music. Hold, please. Guys, you should ask me about this. Like, it stresses me out so much because I'll play music in the background on my teaching videos. And then, oh my God, YouTube won't let me post it. I mean, it's just so crazy. Okay, and now I'm gonna put more of the yellow color in. Notice your colors are probably all nice and clean. My kids get into my stuff and then they, things get messy. Hide things from your brothers and sisters, let me tell you. Okay. And so notice how I'm slowly going from green to yellow. So that would be a graded wash, fabulous. Okay, that's another, these are both different kinds of graded washes. So you can go from like um, one color to the next. So we go, you can make little notes. You could do this as many as times as you can. So we go to green to yellow. And once again, please, how does this look on the other side? Oh, look, I look at the other side and my journal's fine. Okay, so it's not going through the paper, so no stress. And now let's do wet on wet. So, so wet on wet's my favorite, though I really love graded wash. And this arm is not cooperating with me. It's not going super far. I'm gonna get closer. Oh, already it says copyright issues. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, did I just get water on the computer? But no. Hold please, sorry. I don't have time to edit this guys, but I hope you are watching. Besides, you're probably still doing your painting. You're probably still working on this. If you're struggling with this, um, you need a lot of water, okay? A lot of water right here, trust me. Okay, sorry. Just getting used to this tripod. Okay, there we go. All right. So for wet on wet, fabulous. Why am I painting by my computer? Don't be like me. 
For when I want, you're gonna have a ton of water. And yes, I'm just putting water directly on the page. And this is why you need a bigger brush. Remind me on donors choose. Be like, Miss, I, I wanna have some bigger brushes. Just like bug me by email or something. Not that your emails are bugging me. Okay, here we go. A lot of water. Okay. Fill it up. Fill it up. All right, fabulous. All right, a lot of water. And then what you're going to do after you have a layer of water is then you're going to go and you're going to add your colors. So I'm going to pick some of this pinky pink. And you're going to just fill up. Now you're getting a lot of paint and you're putting it in the puddles of water. Little happy accidents. Bob Ross, maybe you want to use different colors and have the cool purples together, the cool and the warm. Is purple a warm or a cool? I would say it's more of a cool color. And you just go ahead and you do that. And wow, this would look cool in your visual journal. And normally AGR students, they don't get to take watercolors home all the time. But guess what? Miss Boteo, she loves you. And she bought you all watercolors. I mean, that's crazy nice. So you should all have watercolors. And you're all painting. And yes, drama students, you should do this too. This is good for your soul. And you can go ahead and you can decorate your stuff. And you can make your journal all nice. And you can use this in your heart map. Like you could do a whole thing. You could make your, like you could turn this into the shape of a heart. Right? Ooh, that'd be cool if I saw some wet on wet. Like you could, you're like, oh God, what's she doing? You don't have to do this part, but I'm just showing you that this could be turned into like a painting. Like you could make this into your heart map and then you could actually write on top of it. I mean, what the heck? Like you could do that. And this, my friends, is your intellectual prep. Just practicing these three watercolor techniques. Because, hey, oh my God, who's texting me now? Which of my husband's like, why are you still up? Because you could then like glue stuff for your heart map on top of here or draw. Then you can do your heart map digitally. But I'm just connecting that to the bigger project. Okay, I hope you have fun. Oh. Gosh, I'm in trouble. So these are three different strategies for watercolor. Okay.